Hi, you're in Steve's Kitchen, and today we're gonna to take a simple chicken pie recipe. We're gonna jazz it up a little bit for Halloween season. Uh, let's get on and start making our chicken pie filling. We're just going to take some chicken breast. You could use thigh, and uh, we're gonna slice that up. And then what I want to do is cut this into some fairly small cubes, nothing too big, because I'm doing individual pie sizes. Now I just want to coat this chicken in a little bit of seasoned flour. Over here, I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of flour in a bowl. We're gonna season that with a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. Give that a little stir through. And now we're just going to take the chicken, pop it into the flour and give it a dusting over. Now let's take that over to the stove. Now into a pan or skillet, a little bit of vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna put my chicken in here and I want to get a little bit of brownness, a bit of caramelization on that chicken. So even though this is a pie, by caramelizing our chicken like this, we're just gonna add extra flavor into it. Now whilst the chicken is frying, I'll keep an eye on it. We're just gonna come over, prepare our vegetables. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of celery. What, what we want to do is cut that up into strips and we want to slice it fairly small. The pieces mustn't be too big for this pie. We've also got some button mushrooms here and I just want to slice these fairly thinly. Now I'm just keeping an eye on my chicken over on the other side. You can see that lovely brownness coming on there. It can still go a bit longer. So we've got our celery, our mushrooms. I'm just gonna take some carrots, slice them into strips. And then we're just going to dice the carrots up nice and small as well. So we don't need to be too precious with that. We're just going to cut them up and make sure they're fairly small. Back over to the pan. Now we've got some nice brownness coming on the chicken now. That is gonna add lots of flavor. I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil into that. A little knob of butter. Now the first thing I want to add are my mushrooms. And I'm just going to let them cook through a little bit and release some of the moisture. Next we're gonna add our carrot and our celery. And I'm going to add about a cup of stock. So let this come up to a simmer. Let it simmer for about five minutes and we'll add a little bit of cream in here. Now you'll see after a few minutes, the sauce is starting to thicken up because we had the flour with the chicken. But what I want to do now is just turn that heat off. I've got half a cup of cream. We're just going to pour that in there. Just give it a little mix through. Now back over here. Now I like to add a little fresh coriander in with my chicken pie. Any herbs that you particularly like, you can add, but don't add the herbs until near the end. I'm just gonna add that coriander in there. I know, I think the Americans call it cilantro, but you could use any herb you like. Just give that a little mix through now. Now we don't need to keep cooking that. That stays cooling down there while we get and prepare our pastry. So I've taken my pie filling and put them into some ramekins and filled them a little bit over halfway. And uh, they've started to cool down now. We've got to make our pie topping for this. Now I've got some regular store-bought puff pastry. We can either use a wheel, a little pizza cutting wheel like this, and we're going to cut some tentacles. Now I actually prefer uh, to use a knife, but what we're going to be getting are uh, wide to narrow. So we'll end up with some strips like that. And what I want is legs coming out. So I'm gonna work out the length I need them. I'm gonna nip off what I don't need. And that's also the reason why I'm keeping them on a plate as well, because I'm gonna bake them on this plate and serve them on this plate. So have the legs coming over like that, bring the tentacles over and a little bit into the pie like so. Hope you can see that. Obviously we're going to need to do eight of these. So I've got another one here. I'm just gonna put the tentacle over the edge, bend it down, bring it to the center and nip it off like that. When you've got all eight legs on like that, same principle, I've just used a, a little cutter here, cut a round piece of pastry, and we're just going to pop that on top of our octopus like that. The last thing I'm going to do is take some olives, little black olives here, I'm going to cut some eyes and pop them nice and close together before we bake these off. They're going to look absolutely great. So there is my Halloween scary octopus chicken pie. Now, the great thing about these is they're already cooked, so they don't need to be cooked where well, the pastry needs to be cooked through. So you'll just put an oven on, 180 degrees centigrade, uh, 350 Fahrenheit. Cook these for about 15 minutes. You'll know when they're cooked, when the pastry is beautiful and golden brown. If you like, you can put a little egg wash on beforehand, 
and on Halloween, they are gonna be fantastic. Now I did decide to cook them off, have a look at these. They're still piping hot, but 15 minutes, I was right, that's all they needed. They're gonna be a heap of fun. I'm not gonna try these just now because they are for a meal time. Uh, please share the love, give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time, take care. And don't forget, there are all sorts of things happening this October in Steve's Kitchen, loads of recipes going up. I'm gonna leave some links to some other recipes here, the Halloween playlist, of course, and I will see you next time. Take care.